today I'm Dr. Lisa Kellett and today I'll be answering some of your dermatological questions. The first of which is, Dear Dr. Kellett, I have a problem with my underarms. They're noticeably darker and getting darker with age. What is this and what can I do about it? Uh, firstly, you need to diagnose it correctly. There are a number of different dermatological issues that can present with dark underarms and these range from just a reaction to something that's being used such as an antiperspirant or deodorant to something that could indicate a problem systemically such as a high blood insulin or blood sugar. So the first step is to make sure that you have a correct diagnosis. So what I would suggest is that you take everything you're using have a consultation with a dermatologist who can do a history and physical examination and look at the area and discuss with you the diagnosis and what can be used to treat it. But I stress it's important to bring in what you've been using as well so that they can review it. The second question is about ichthyosis. And ichthyosis is a type of condition that can be a number of things. There are a number of different conditions that cause ichthyosis, which is often seen as flaky, dry skin. In addition, there are a number of different types of ichthyoses. So, uh, the important thing is to see a dermatologist to get a proper assessment. The most common form of ichthyosis is something called ichthyosis vulgaris, and that is basically seen as flaky, dry skin, often seen on the front of the tibia or the legs. And in terms of treatments for that, Often we recommend a uh, topical preparation that is an emollient, so it will um, give a barrier to the skin to prevent water loss, and a humectant which basically helps as a very heavy moisturizer to the skin. It's also helpful to avoid showers and use baths only, and you can often use a bath oil that's miscible with water, so it does go right into the bath water. After you get out of the bath, do not put on um, anything um, irritating, no beta or alpha hydroxy acids, but instead when your skin is still wet, you can apply a nice thick moisturizer on top of the skin and that will prevent water loss as well. Next question I have is about cradle cap. Uh, the first thing I have to stress is that cradle cap is incredibly common in babies uh, and infants. It is important to get a proper diagnosis because there are a number of conditions that can look like cradle cap and are not. A cradle cap is actually a lay term. The proper term is seborrheic dermatitis, uh, and it's very common. It can be uh, caused by a number of things. The most common cause, however, is what we call idiopathic. It just tends to occur in certain babies. In terms of treatments, the treatments are usually very conservative, which means we do not suggest anything that is too irritating. Do not pick at the crust or try to pull them off because that can cause bleeding and irritation. And instead, you can use a very mild oil. Sometimes even olive oil can be used at home and just very gently massage that into the scalp and then the crust should come off nicely. If there's any question about the diagnosis, I would see your pediatrician or your dermatologist and get a proper diagnosis and then get uh, suggested treatment. In uh, often cases that are recalcitrant and are difficult to treat, we can prescribe uh, some medications as well. Uh, the last question I have today is about a pimple underneath the skin that has turned brown. I feel a hard lump and I've tried everything to get it out with no results. What can I do? The most important thing here is to make sure that you have a proper diagnosis. Uh, a pimple underneath the skin could be anything from a slight scar, such as a dermatofibroma, to a type of mole, and even skin cancer. So it's very important to see a dermatologist and get a proper diagnosis. And then in terms of treatments, there are multiple treatments. They might involve taking a piece of it called a punch biopsy or shave excision and removing it. Uh, to other, um, other dermatological procedures, but the most important thing is to get a diagnosis. One of the things that we see commonly on the legs is something called dermatofibromas, and what they are, they're an overgrowth of tissue, like a scar underneath the skin. It is a very ill-defined uh, papule, which means it's a bump underneath the skin that's very hard. It can be pink, flesh-colored, or brown, and in terms of, of cause, it's often caused by shaving or an ingrown hair or even an insect bite. 
In terms of treating it, we do uh, local excisions, so we can put some local freezing in and we can remove it. Um, and then it's nice because then it's gone, you don't have to deal with it anymore. Uh, anything that's taken off the leg in terms of excision should be sent for dermatological examination. We call it a dermatopathologist, and that's a physician who will take a look underneath the microscope and take a look and give you a proper diagnosis as to what it is. Thank you very much for your questions. I'm Dr. Lisa Kelly.